Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me for this video. It is garden tour time. I'm all set with my coffee and there's a break in the rain. So we actually have a tropical storm heading our way, which has been pretty mild so far, but I wanna catch this garden tour before the rain comes back. Lots of new stuff. It is way different from, or at least so much bigger than the last time I gave a garden tour. It's been like, I think two weeks, maybe a little more than that. I've not been super consistent with the garden tours, but I'm like seeing a tomato that looks like it's barely blushing from here. So that's pretty cool. Maybe I could be wrong. All right. It is Sunday, June 20th. Um, happy Father's Day to all the dads watching. Let me show you around. All right, over here. I haven't shown much of this. I didn't make a video when I set this up because I needed to get it done while I did not have to hold a child while they were napping. So I got it done quickly without recording any content. So, sorry guys. I planted all my zucchini seeds. All of the zucchini seeds I have left. I have Pascola zucchini in there and Black Beauty. So, I chose just to do zucchini in that spot. It's four rows and each row is about six feet long, maybe a little longer. I chose only to do zucchini because it doesn't trail so much like a pumpkin. And the other squash seeds I have are patty pan and those, I think they're gonna, those trail a little bit more like pumpkins do. I didn't want that because if I want, I want more zucchini than patty pans, TBH. Over here are my berry bushes. Now, not all of them are giving me berries, which it's just their first year, so that's to be expected, but they're so pretty. Some of them look like their undersides, like getting a little chewed on. Picked two ripe berries this morning. I'm gonna pick like at least one a day. Not very many. Some days I get like a big handful. Bubba. Hi, Bubba. This is the blackberry bush over here. You can see a little bit of a difference. The leaves are wider and darker. It's not giving me any fruit though. And grass. This was a volunteer tomato that I'm kind of using as like a trap crop. I don't know if that's a good idea. Probably not. <clears throat> over here. Oh no. <clears throat> Losing my voice. Look at what we have here. The first blushing Martino's Roma tomato. That's pretty rad. Super rad. There's another blushing one right over there. Let's get a close up. This was the one that I saw when I started. Ta-da! Look at you doing such a good job growing me tomatoes. Ah, that one's redder though. Hey, that's a basil. I sowed basil in front of the tomato plants here and that's the only one that I see that is still living. It got eaten up by something. All right, for the record, Martino's Roma and the Sun Sugar Tomatoes are the first ones to start blushing. Look at that beauty. Did you see that spider? Oh, she's hiding now. Shiny. Where'd she go? There she is. Her butt is shiny. I'm gonna leave all the spiders this year. Oh. You. Stink bugs are not allowed a place in the garden. Okay, actually squash bugs. I'm not sure if that's their real name. They just look very similar to those green stink bugs. And they stung up my tomato plants. And I thought, so I saw one thing on YouTube last year that said that stink bugs were good for the garden. They'll eat bad bugs. So I left them. But that was not right. 
because what I thought were stink bugs were not stink bugs. They are like a cousin to the stink bug, but their legs are longer and their bodies are longer. They were horrible. They infested everything in the garden and they're one of those things that's really, really hard to get rid of. It's mostly recommended to literally like just take a cup of soapy water and collect them in the garden because a lot of bug repellents don't do anything. Look at this. Oh, I just realized I was still zoomed in. No, I wasn't. Something's eating that tomato. All of them. What do we think this is? Could that be a worm? OMG. Look at that size of that thing. Oh my gosh. First tomato hornworm of the season. I need to get something to get that because I am not touching that with my fingers. There we go. Wet gloves, but hey, it's okay. OMG. I'm gonna have to start hunting for these guys because last year, oops. So last year I found all the hornworms before they got that big. Just make sure there's nothing living in these gloves because they've been sitting out here. All right, let's go get this guy. Look at the size of this guy. OMG. Chewing holes through my tomatoes. Yikes. You, sir, are chicken food. I literally had to scrape that hornworm off because I couldn't pull it off with my fingers. It was so, like, so grabbed onto that thing. Well, I'm gonna pluck these tomatoes that he chewed a hole in. Stinker. I don't think. What is that? Oh, there's another one. I saw that little green blob. I think that's hornworm poop. Jeez, Louise. It's underneath the table. I think we're gonna have to start making it a regular thing to hunt for hornworms. Do we have a black light? Light. I've heard that if you come out here with a black light, they glow and they're a lot easier to find because they're like the same exact color as the plants. No idea. I need to tie these up again. This one's leaning over. That's a Abe Lincoln. These littler ones. What are... did the male hornworm say to the female hornworm? Don't say it. <laughs> Look, this is hornworm poop right here. That means there's one on this plant too. You wanna find it? Hard to see because they're green. Mm -hmm. What's up, buddy? Are you doing mommy spawning? There he is. Are you doing Golly, they're so big. Sweet corn this year did not get nearly as tall as my Indian corn from last year. Be sort of hunting for hornworms as we go. I need to look up what the hornworms eggs look like so that I can be on the lookout for those too. The first clue of hornworms is holes in the leaves. And then the next clue is their poop. Because you often can see that before you actually see the worms because they blend in so well. I need to come through here and prune all the suckers out. I don't see any more. Two loofah plants. No flowers put out yet. Still covered in ants. I don't understand. 
This is the damage, I think, from the ants, maybe. I don't know. Malabar spinach just taking over. Start making some salads from that. Some of the peppers are looking like they're recovering slowly. This bed is not doing as well. All of the other ones, their leaves aren't curling anymore. I wonder if they do better with melons. Marigolds are getting huge. Look at that. We got our first baby melons. How exciting is that? Looks like that one was pollinated too. Moving along. A sweet potato vine and then some squash growing. These squash plants are daisy boards. They are decorative. I'm hoping they'll grow up this trellis. Rattlesnake beans. I already picked like four or five off of them today. Not getting a whole lot, but it's still fun. I love picking fresh green beans and the snacking on them. They're like my favorite thing. They trump tomatoes for me because tomatoes take forever. All the way up there. Yep. And look at that. First cucumber set. So cute. I think that's the only one. I have a kale that is just now deciding it wants to grow for me. These cucumbers are taking off too. They're doing a lot better than anything else is done in this bed. At least that cucumber in particular is doing better than anything did in that spot. Nothing grew very well there. Zinnias, chickens. Yeah, that hornworm is still there. I wonder if chickens aren't supposed to eat those. I gave them some tomatoes, so it looks like they liked it. Just munching on that. Strawberries. Oh, over here. Okay, story time. Jack pulled the zinnia up and then planted it back in the ground and it died. <laughs> we have a white zinnia, so pretty. We have some four o'clock growing in here. That's what those little sprouts are. Bonus zinnia. I transplanted this one. Another zinnia on the corner. The squash that I planted on the ends of these bed, this bed here did not grow. Yeah? That's kind of why I decided to plant all the squash back behind the fence. Oh, look at how glorious these are. I've got an itch on my face. My, there's my ribs. Yeah. My Garfield. My Garfield mm. one shot. This coffee is good. Amaranth is so pretty. I think you're able to eat that. I need to double check though. Moving along. The yarrow has bloomed. I don't think I've shown a garden tour when, with the yarrow being bloomed. Bloomed? Bloomed? Walking over to the house garden. All right, we have some herbs, squash, and spinach. Here's the thyme that I got from my sister at the auction. It's kind of, it's grown quite a bit actually. The one on the right is doubled in size. A zinnia. I don't know what that is. The first thing on the right. But the rest of them are zinnias. Zucchini. Parsley, yarrow, and that's so pretty. Little flowers. And then spinach that's starting to go to seed. I'm gonna save some seeds from the spinach. I got the seeds from Sani's Seeds. I'll have to double check if those were heirlooms because I can't remember. If you're watching Sani, let me know if those are heirloom spinach seeds that I got from you. Don't you remember. Right. More 
we are, Ew. That's so pretty. That's the best looking cluster of it to me, in my opinion. Best looking one. There's a sunflower and the prune my rose bush. Just decided to give me another rose randomly. Some mint, yarrow, and sunflowers. Another rose bush. It's a different type of mint. And these are, this is the violet aster. It's so tiny. This one is another aster. I'm not sure if this is apricot or violet. Those are the two colors that I grew. That is a weed that is camouflaging with the yarrow. Yarrow over here is starting to die. Well, it looks like something peed on it, actually. Sun scorched it. I'm really happy that I chose to make space for flowers this year. It's so fun. Okay. This is a lemon tree. I bought off of someone on Facebook Marketplace. This is an azalea and I don't know why it's droopy. That. Yeah. Something is eating my basil. What could it be? This dark opal basil. This is some rosemary I started from seed. This is some hyssop that's trying to come back. Over here, the dill has gone to seed. I actually have not used any of this dill with cooking because the dogs pee on it. Lesson learned in this spot. Oh, we've got some honeybees. Honeybees buzzing around the uh, marjoram. This marjoram went to flower. That's fun. Uh, okay. Rosemary's in the middle. I'm not gonna grow any other herbs in this bed other than the rosemary's gonna stay. And other than that, I think the marjoram might be a perennial. I'm not sure. And the oregano, maybe? All the perennials in there anyway, we'll keep. But other than that, I'm gonna just plant flowers in this bed because I don't care if flowers get peed on. But I definitely care if herbs get peed on because I will want to eat those and I don't want to have to um, have pee on what I eat. That's disgusting. <clears throat> okay, over here. We have some new stuff. Let's see, I don't think anything sprouted in here yet. Cilantro maybe? Nope. Definitely not. That might be. I don't want to pull that up because I don't know if that's the cilantro. This is some lavender from my mother-in-law. I didn't know where I wanted to plant it yet, so I just kept it in pots. I think that's grass growing in this orange pot. Lemon balm, I think. Maybe basil? Let's smell it. Hmm. Lemon balm, definitely. That smells amazing. Let's see. Ah, oh, so nice. So that's what's in this one too. I've got some parsley still. I need to dry some of this. And this is a lettuce leaf basil with some dark opal basils in here too. I'll thin that a little bit, leave those two in there. And then cilantro. I'm pretty sure that's all basil. And nothing has come up out of this one yet. <clears throat> this one doesn't have a hole in the bottom, so it's like drowned everything in there. Oh well. Let's see actually. This might be the lemon balm too. No, that's basil. I think, I hope, I don't know. I don't remember. You know what? 
I only had purple basil. I used up all the lemon balm seeds. I think that's lemon balm too. It's just not as mature as the one in the other pot. All right. Other than my microgreens growing inside, that is the whole garden. Pretty cool. Everything's so huge. We've got our first cucurbit set and I am so excited about those. I did not harvest like, I mean hardly anything of anything last year other than herbs. So I'm really happy that I have more stuff growing this year and more success. So I hope that encourages everybody that it just takes a little bit of um, sticking with it to get harvest from anything. So don't give up. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. If you want to be kept in the loop with all my garden adventures, then hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and you'll be notified whenever I upload something new. Also, if you need a friend to learn how to garden with, I'm your girl. Happy gardening.